Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Haltech Q&A. Today, we'll be answering your questions on iPhones, data logging, and flex fueling. Our first question today comes from Jim. I have a Sprint 500 in my turbocharged Holden Gemini. It's currently making 220 horsepower on 18 PSI. Can I run a flex fuel sensor for E85 conversion? Now, Jim, because the Sprint 500 is an entry-level Haltech system, it doesn't have the digital input required for your ethanol content sensor. So upgrading to a Sport 1000 or an Elite 1500 that do have a digital input and do have the capability to do the flex fuel tuning is exactly what you're after. They'll also be able to do all of your electronic boost control based on the ethanol content in the fuel. Our next question comes from Red Lemon. Is there a way to compare two data sets in a single scatter plot in the data log viewer? Now, Red Limit, the way that we would do this, because there's so many colors in a scatter graph, the best way would be to line them up on multiple pages in your data log viewer. So we'll have page one, for example, being a, a scatter graph, page two as another scatter graph. So we can flick back and forward between the two to see what the differences are between the two data logs. Our next question comes from Skylar Whoop. What type of OBD2 Wi-Fi module do you recommend for connecting my iPhone to the Elite? Well, Skylar, the really good news here is that the Elite 2500 series is fully OBD2 compliant. So the first thing that you would need is the cable that goes from the Deutsch 4-pin connector to an OBD2 plug. So you can make that yourself. It's available from Haltech or send the support guys an email and they'll give you a wiring diagram of how to make this cable. Personally, I use the Dash Command app on my iPhone with a Wi-Fi dongle. Have a look in the description below. There's a great link to the Mighty Car Mods Gramps car that we were using this Wi-Fi module in. So there's a video in there so you can see this in action before you decide to go ahead with grabbing one. That's all the questions that we've got for today. I'm really, really excited about the next episode of the Haltech Q&A where we've got Ben Strader from EFI University here. Now, he'll be answering a bunch of questions that he gets in all of his training seminars. So don't forget to tune in and check that one out.